hi guys and welcome back to my channel so i've been doing a few mystery boxes lately and um i bought my first palette of return items um now bear in mind it's my first time buying a, a palette and um palette palette is it a palette or a palette it's a palette i think Anyway, it was my first time buying one and I didn't realise that it told you what was actually inside the uh, the palette at the bottom underneath where you click add to cart. Um, and I had a little surprise when this palette turned up. Um, I had to go back and check that it was what it said on the palette and it most definitely was what it said on the palette. I just should have took my time to read what it said and didn't. Big mistake, like, don't make that mistake. It should have a manifest underneath where it says um, buy me or add to cart or whatever. So um, I wish I knew that before I started. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna show you the palette and you guys can guess what's inside. So, this is a palette. I have the paperwork here. Um, it cost me £84. So as you can see, it's, it's a massive palette. £84, £45 delivery and £25.80 VAT. Now, here's a little sneak peek of um, what's inside the palette. Yeah, you can kind of guess what it is now. So, if you're going to buy a palette, please, like, find out in the manifest what is in it before you buy it. Because I can't see people wanting to buy this in the summer, you know? It's more of a winter thing. Um, so, yeah, we're going to open the whole thing now anyway. And you can have a proper look what's inside. Right. I'm going to open this now um, I can see that some of them are boxed which is obviously going to decrease the value this box has been sitting there a while like my fingers are quite dark with this that's good. They've also given us the list of items that are in there, how much they're, yeah, and how much they they sell for. But these are obviously retail prices, which means they're boxed and they're new. And um, there's a few box ones in there. But we'll have a look what we're dealing with in a second. I don't even put a Christmas tree up at Christmas, so I won't be having one. Okay, so... Some of them are still like up. They haven't even bothered to put them down or anything. But we have two box ones here, which are sealed. Um, this one here is a six foot slim evergreen tree. Um, I don't know how much, I could probably get like 10 pounds for that. So, that's temp, oh my god, this isn't even boxed properly, it's like, it's half out of the box. Oh, this is the light up one as well, we need to test that. <laughs> you know what, I'll get that one out in a minute. So, this is the snow topped one. Um, it looks like part of it. 
Yeah, parting is no problem. This will be a bit. Here we go. It has got a sticker on the bottom, which normally says what's wrong with it. <coughs> and this says it was returned in 2020. Um, fault. There's nothing actually um written on the fault so probably because it's unboxed i'm thinking but i mean it's a really really pretty tree i think once that's like all put out and everything i think that I'll, i could probably get like 15, 20 pounds of that, which is not what I was really looking for, but there we are. I've actually got to sell them for 15 pounds or over to make a profit, to get to actually get my money back, sorry. So that is actually what it's for 15 pounds. I'll probably go for a tiny because it's just such really small. Um, oh, I think this one is just a normal, plain, Thing one. And here's the bottom to it. And it actually doesn't say anything about the the faults. The faults are left empty, so it said untested returns on the sticker. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Untested. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I thought there were some bells on it then, but it's your keys. Yeah, I could probably get like 15 pounds for that. Oh, we have. How many of them to be? 10. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's their like massive trees, and I've got more than 10. Um, oh, yeah. See all the box ones at the bottom? Yeah. why I don't like having Christmas trees. They're just extremely messy. But it does look nice and fluffy and snowy, which is nice. Okay, let's find the top. That is the top. It is very <coughs> to bent. Luckily, my dad has said that he will keep hold of these for me in storage until Christmas time is slightly closer. I've just like, how am I meant to get in there? <laughs> Yay, it's the top. Some of these trees actually like retail for £70. Which is absolutely ridiculous because I would never pay seventy pounds for a Christmas tree. Um, but this is what we've got so far. So we have eleven and a half Christmas trees. There was only meant to be ten, but we got an extra one and a half. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So. We've got this one here, which I think is the cashmere one, not entirely sure, but it's actually, so if you want it to go back in your box, you tip it upside down and it'll all go one way. It's got these little hinges on them, so it makes life a lot easier when you're putting up a Christmas tree, because I hate doing that, like individually pulling them at the racks me. Top's a bit bent. The top. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Uh, we have this one, which is our ombre tree. So it's dark at the bottom, goes lighter as it goes up. Um, we have this plain one here. It's just, yeah, a plain Christmas tree. I actually think it's the slim tree. And I'm pretty sure that's a slim tree as well. 
the snow covered one and the other one also which is slightly more covered in snow than the other one um we have a what is this one uh fiber optics not working okay this is fiber optic it says it's been returned because it's not working but these are untested returns so like the customer could say that and if you try it out you know it might work so we are we will be trying the electrical ones obviously before we think about reselling them and um, we have this six foot pre-lit pencil tree snow topped and this also is a light up one which we'll be checking the electrics for this one which is a slim evergreen tree probably sell that for like a tanner or something this six foot imperial tree um, we have this parasol tree which honestly I don't know why someone would want to order this it's just the top of the tree literally just the top of the tree um, we also have which one is this? it's another snow covered one which also has lights on it and this six foot imperial tree which isn't one. no i said the six oh. foot slim evergreen tree and okay. then this one's imperial tree so we've got we have that little one over there that's like half tree yeah, as well that. okay well that is that is it that's what was in our box um i have actually ordered another, another pallet that will be here in a few days um it's a bit more exciting because it's more like electrical goods and stuff like that um so yeah i'm looking forward to that one um yeah this is what we have here so we're just gonna test out the electrical trees and then i will let you guys know how we get on so we're just gonna check the um non-electrical ones to see that everything's packed in there that should be um Go. There's no sound. Mm, nope. Wow. Well, I don't know what to do with that. There's no stand with that one, so. I thought there's an outdoor train sticking in the ground. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Right, so. This one was the, what one? Six foot imperial green tree. And it didn't have a stand, so luckily I had one from our, old. from our old Christmas tree. So I have replaced it with that. Obviously I will be advertising it as like replacement stand, not original stand. But the tree is perfectly fine. And yeah, I'll probably be able to sell that for about £15. Um, obviously not the full 20 because it's not an original stand so yeah 15 pound so <clears throat> this is our evergreen tree obviously it's looking rather bare at the moment because we need to open these up to make it look a bit more um, of a fuller tree but it actually said that what was it the stand was um, less missing it, it said that there was a missing bit of the stand to attach branch to tree. To attract, attach the, oh, to the middle bit to the tree then. Must be. Yeah. But it's perfectly fine. There's nothing missing at all. So maybe they just couldn't be bothered to check them. I mean, I don't or mind. Or they didn't like the look of it. Yeah. Or they didn't like the look of it. Because it does look a little bit skinny. But it is a brand new box tree and there's nothing wrong with it so possibly 20 pound maybe 15 yeah so yeah okay so this was our half a tree you go it comes box half a tree and there is nothing wrong with it at all it said it was unstable but that seems pretty sturdy to me. There's nothing wrong with it. I think someone was like disappointed. Either yeah, disappointed buying it as a real tree. 
Uh, not a real tree, but I ended up thinking it was a whole tree, but it was only a little bit. I mean, I have no use for this. I, I don't understand why you'd want to put half a tree up, but... Behind the sofa. <sighs> oh, yeah, behind the sofa. Yeah, you could do if you haven't got the room. Yeah. That's a good, good, good uh, little thing, that was. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this at all. So, I will probably sell this for... What do you think? 15. 15. Yeah, 15. So... That's a fifteen pounds. We um also have uh, this. Yeah, this is like half a tree. Um, it's got the same middle bit as this. I mean, it's just missing the pole, isn't it? Yeah, it's just missing the pole. Could you maybe we could sell that with it? So if they wanted a full tree, they could just take it off and yeah, put it into a full tree if they wanted to. It would just be shorter. You couldn't. You couldn't. No. <clears throat> the top doesn't have anything, does it? On that one? There's no top to There's it? There's no hole at the top. Oh. So it goes round into the square. Oh. So yeah. We can sell it with it anyway, just in case. If they want it, they can have it with it. So guys, that was my first palette and loading video. Um, like I said, I will have more coming um, next week sometime. I don't know what. what. We're going to go up like every day in the afternoon and um, sort things out and bring down the ones that we tested that are working back to the house. Um, but yeah, I've got a really good feeling about the next lot. It's um, mainly like electricals electricals and like tools and stuff so um yeah i hope it i hope it's a decent one um i actually read what was in the um palette today today no i read it the other day um but yeah i've bought it ready so it should be here soon um i think this next one will be a bit more entertaining i mean christmas trees Mm, I really wouldn't have picked that if I had known that you could read the manifest underneath there's no way in hell that I would have picked that one um but there we are you know we live and learn it's things not to do and things to do like make sure you read the manifest if there is one um yeah and when it says Christmas returns on the title they mean like Christmas decorations not because when I heard Christmas returns, I was like, "Oh, cool! Like unwanted Christmas gifts, or if someone's got doubles or something, they've returned it back to the store." But no, it was Christmas decorations, guys. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I really enjoyed. I'm filming this the day after now. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that video. Um, we can't obviously sell them for retail price because they are every one of them like second hand or they've been opened and stuff so um as long as i get at least 15 pounds each for them i will break even and make my money back on the palette which i'm hoping happens um it'll teach me a le lesson if it doesn't to be honest because like i said i should have read the manifest um we had some of them that were um light up and fiber optic uh, they were fine they were in perfectly working like order they were fine all the light up ones we've done them we tested them um all the other ones in the other boxes were okay apart from the one without the stand and stuff um but yeah yeah i think that's i'm probably going to be up if i was to sell them at the prices that I've put them down for when I was um like evaluating them and stuff, I would be up fifty pounds from what I spent on the palette. I mean that's not a lot, but at least it's a, like a little profit. Now this next palette, I've already worked out like how much I'm selling them for, how much they retail for. I've all done done that already, and this palette is looking very hopeful. So. Let's hope that it works out. Um, I've already got my eyes on another one after that. It's it's kind of like an addiction, but um, I enjoy doing it because it's something that I can do 
like in my own time at my own pace um I'm not always feeling up for doing stuff like this um actually it's quite rare that I do stuff like this but yeah it's something that I can do um when I can you know what I mean it's not something that I have to do but it's like a hobby that I could do when I'm feeling up to it um but yeah days like today I, I wouldn't be able to do it I feel like rubbish today um but yeah um yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to yeah, opening the other palette and seeing what's working and what isn't. Stuff like that. I'm looking forward to. So thank you so much for taking the time for, for watching this video. I do apologise about this bit being like dragged out a little bit. Um yeah, I'm not really with it today. Um but um yeah, if you've enjoyed this video guys and you wanna see more palette um like liquidation palettes and stuff then please just say in the comments tell me what you want me to get like what kind of liquidation stock you would like me to get what palette you want me to get next um obviously after the electrical one yeah if you want to see something like a a certain kind of palette just let me know down below guys and i will make that happen um so yeah i hope you guys are having a really really good weekend and i hope you have a brilliant start to the week tomorrow and i shall see you all very soon Mwah. bye